Tulum is a jungle, so let's go to a jungle restaurant where they eat every part of the animal. Nothing goes to waste. Come on. Check this out. And they accept Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. They're ahead. They're in the future. So we made our reservation right at 6 o'clock, right when they open, so we're able to have the sunlight because sunset sets around 6.15, so we don't have a lot of time for the light. But it looks beautiful and I'll get a shot once it's packed by the time we leave. It's absolutely beautiful. You really do feel like you're inside of a jungle. The way that they built this around the trees and just having so an open floor plan where you can literally see everything that's going on. Their kitchen is completely open, which I think is a truly beautiful thing. Yeah, I think when the kitchen doesn't hide what's inside, they have nothing to hide. You know what I mean? Right, like they it, want to show their their good work. Yeah, so they want it to be an open, so you just like they're not hiding anything. Exactly. And usually the kitchen will be in the back of the restaurant. This is literally centerfold almost in the restaurant. It's absolutely beautiful to see. We're getting some some nice warm towels. Oh, how are you? Very well, how are you? Thanks for Thank having you. us. Thank you. Great, so welcome to Kitchen Table. My name is David and I'm with your winner. Is it is it okay yeah. if we film you? We're making a video yeah, for the restaurant. Cool. Okay, cool. Tonight in kitchen table have a different special and I want to tell about that it's starting with a cocktail. Tonight I have uh, my co-workers into the bar make a delicious cocktail, fresh in and made with a gin. I love the gin. <laughs> so that's uh, important. <laughs> so how do you think they start with a cocktail and take your time to check the menu and sure. think about it, right? Yeah, let's Sounds do it. Good. Thank you. And that's full service right there. They literally bring in smoke. I forgot the name of what he said it was called, yeah. but it's literally to whisk away the mosquitoes. That's amazing. That is full service full right service. there. Full service. Oh, look at that. It even has horns. Wow. Oh. Oh, wow. look how cute these are. And the Playboy. Thank you, my good sir. Great. Right. So, are you ready? Any questions for the menu? Um, I, th I think we're gonna start with the ceviche. So our drinks all came in and they all came in looking so beautiful. Like the way that they decorated, whether it's the cup or the actual decorations. Like look, Jake's has horns on it. Straight devil. Devil horns, that's crazy. Mine uh, honestly was, was like the least cool one, but it's still, you know what, let's try them, Jake. Yeah. That's all that matters at the end of the day. Ooh, ooh. That's nice. See, we went with a spicier drink, so like as it hits the back of your throat is when that spice gets to you. Let's switch. Oh. Oh, oh yours is really spicy. No wonder why they call it the demon. Oh. Mine's a little bit more sweet and nice. Yours is just real spicy. Oh, shoot. That's the Diablito. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Straight out of hell, for sure. Both, Both are really great drinks. Though. So far, so good, you know? I'm gonna use the restroom. Oh my god, my lips are on fire. That drink is hot. I'll be right back. Jesus, how far is this toilet? I made it! First off, we are in a literal tree hut right now. Check this out, this is crazy. Let me give you a 360 view. Bathroom is, this is where you wash your hands. The only mirror, literally above everything up here. Check this out. Toilets are all the same. It's nice, it's, it's, it's just so insane that they go through this much to build a bathroom up here. Like, you literally, I could just use the bathroom right here. This is insane. I gotta tell the rest of the guys. Yay. This is the ceviche, comes with a homemade chips and comes with a couple rings of chile serrano. If you know it's spicy, just be careful with it. Don't right? eat those right. ones. Cool, thank right. you. That's some fresh fish right there. That thing may or may not be still swimming. Mm. 
literally melts in your mouth. Mm. Insane. If that was that good, I can't wait for the main courses. So far, literally everything has been a hit from the drinks to the appetizers, so I'm looking forward to the main course. I just want to apologize in advance real quick. It's getting dark fast and we're literally in a jungle, so there's really no lights. So I'm going to be holding my phone. Sometimes it's going to be down here. Sometimes it's going to be up here. So please just bear with me. The food will all be the best filming and the best lighting. So. But me, I might be down here up here, okay? Food is arriving right now. Let's check it out. Oh, wow. Look at that. Brisket? Whoa. What is this? That's the side of the brisket that's the grill, right? Oh, perfect. Thank you. Why is it black? Mole. Is that? I don't know. We'll find out. He hates mole. And my personal recommendation for the, for the brisket, dip it with a smoky carrot. You can find it as the balance of this dish, so that's just really, really good. Eat it with it right? together at the same time? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So our food is here, and what is your thoughts, Jake? <sighs> it, it, it's beautifully plated. Be it, both of them, beautifully plated. Yeah, I mean, I don't can't recall if I've ever had pork belly, literally the belly of a pork. But I'll let you know what the pork ate for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> I have a brisket in front of me right here. I'm not exactly sure what this black sauce is on top. Jake said it's mole. I'm finger crossed and it's not because I am a no-go on mole. But you know what? I'm going to do my best to try and let you know what the heck it is. All right, let's go. I should ask him though. Yeah. What? What, what is the like the black sauce on here? That's the recado negro. Recado, recado negro is a condiment for the for this region, for the sort of Mexico. Oh, okay. It's made with a different chiles and onion, oh, and garlic, okay. or roasted, but the corn, you know? Yeah. It's like a mole, you know the mole? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's the same preparation. Okay. All roasted and all grinded. Perfect. Awesome. All right, let's try Cheers, it. cheers. Oh my oh. God. I've never had pork belly either, and I think I'm gonna start eating it. Wow, it has the exact texture of salmon. Really, it does. but they they cook the per to perfection. It has a crispy end of it. The sauce, the is crispy top, crispy top. Yeah, the sauce is so good. I don't even know what it is. It's sweet. It's almost like a barbecue. That's but what it's I was like, thinking. It's almost like a barbecue, but not as sweet as barbecue. But it's so far away from barbecue, yeah. but it has the same sweetness as that. I oh. agree. That is really nice. I like oh. that. I'm going to give this a little go before we switch it up. Whoa. What is that? No idea. It's like a gnocchi. Wow. Oh, it's banana. What? Mm, yeah, it is a banana. That's a weird banana though. It's a, it's like a plantain. Mm. Oh, there's mosquitoes on me. This black sauce, is, it's really, it's scaring me a little bit, but let, let's try it off. Oh, look how, oh my God, look how soft the meat is. Oh, look at that. Oh. Look at that. Oh, wow. Okay, let's try it. So he said, to, he said the best way to eat it is to pair it with the spicy carrot sauce right here. I don't know, it looks like a, a thick, cream paste type something. Oh my mm. god, that brisket is so tender. Mm. Wow, wow. It actually is better than normal moles that I've had, because usually yeah. I have a mole and I think it's just like a very like, almost like bittery taste. It's just not enjoyable to me. This one is actually really nice. And with the combination of the spicy carrot, it like, it does complement itself. It doesn't like take wow. away or make you feel like you're eating something strange. Yeah. It's very nice, very smooth. Which one's better though? Mm, yours was really, let me try another bite of mine. I gotta really taste this again. Look at this. Look at that. I don't know, mine's really good. Mine's really good. I think it, it's, it's a tie. It might be a tie. Okay, mine is a little bit sweet. I don't know if it's the carrot, I don't know if it's the mole, but it's good. You wanna try it? Try it? Baby girl over there? It's coming in. It's a big bite. Open wide. Mm. Mm. Which one do you guys like? Which one do you think is better, ladies? <laughs> the meat is on both ends are very um, like easy to chew. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Which one you? Thai. Thai. Okay. Yeah. I'm just gonna say it like this place knows what they're doing because like we literally had a very fancy restaurant 
just down the street last night and they had no clue what they were doing. No. The food was so bad and bland. Here, the food is rich with flavor. They obviously have like some probably Michelin star rated chefs back there because they know how to cook this food and they know how to pair it with what pairs right. Like I would never think to pair spicy carrot with wow. this at yeah, all. Yeah, they are just like, they know what they're doing. They know seasons they, and, and fruits and veggies. They know everything. They know how to pair everything together. It's so good. Honestly, I'm applauding them and I'm applauding the chefs. If you guys are in Tulum, you need to come to Kitchen Table. You need to even just check out their Instagram. I mean, look at the photos there. Do you want to try mine? Uh-huh. Can I try yours? It's sea bass. Don't even give me a bite. Damn. All right, I'm going to try the catch of the day. Mmm. That's nice. Wow. You want a bite? I'm okay. That's, okay. <laughs> that's really nice. I will say, though, the one who got the best bang for their buck over here, I think, was me. I got a huge piece. I don't know how big your guys' was, but my my piece was huge. Uh-huh. And thick. Definitely not mine. That looks weird. Yours did look weird. It just came out like a square. It almost looked like meatloaf when it came out, in a way. I rate this place a 10 out of 10. Oh, for sure. Next, I got some rice. Not your average rice. It looks like uh, pan grilled it or something. I don't know. It's grilled rice, but let's let's try it. Oh, look. It like, sticks together like a patty. It almost is like a rice patty. Let's see how it tastes. And it's on a banana leaf for either decoration or for taste. I don't know. Mmm. It's crispy on the top. And it's got almost like got something sweet in there. Mmm. It's like this is rice. Don't need to put any kind of wow. sauce. You just eat it the way it is because it's cooked so nicely. That's good, man. This place is a this is an easy dub. Well, one day when I do come back to the room, I will stop by here. That's how good this place is. So that's it. That wraps up the Jungle Restaurant video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you're in Tulum, you guys gotta come visit Kitchen Table. The food is spectacular. The service is amazing. The people here are just lovely human beings so come swing by kitchen table i love you guys so much thanks for supporting us and watching our videos all the time pick up some merch if you want to keep supporting the channel at brennantaylor.com hit the like hit the subscribe and we'll see you guys stateside yep. Peace. my son is when i saw you walk through the door door